That was uh, Frank Sinatra. He's, he was telling you how much he loves you. But my brother and I came here tonight to tell you how much God loves you. The Bible says in Romans 10, 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Think about that. Isn't that a wonderful statement? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But first, you've got to know the name of the Lord. You know the name of the Lord, sir? His name is Jesus Christ. He's the Son of God, the Savior of the world. And tonight I'm going to ask you, will you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved? What does it mean to call upon the name of the Lord? It means that you go to Jesus Christ for salvation. It means that you put your faith in the Son of God for your salvation. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you for the encouragement, sir. That's what I'm going to ask you to do tonight, is call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, put your faith in the Son of God as your Savior, and you will be saved. Now, to call upon the name of the Lord means that you are trusting Jesus Christ for your salvation. I'm asking you to put your faith completely on the Son of God. Now I realize that some of you here tonight, you have faith, but you're putting your faith in uh, the various religions of the world, and there's not one religion in the world that can save you. That's right. No religion can save you. Tonight I'm going to ask you to reject all the religions of the world. I'm asking you to put your faith in the Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. Tonight I'm asking, bless you, I'm going to ask you tonight to put your faith exclusively on Jesus Christ. Entirely on Jesus. I'm going to ask you to depend 100% on Jesus Christ for your salvation. That's what it means to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus and be saved. Now that verse says, it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Isn't that good news? Whosoever. If whosoever means anybody. That means God's not going to discriminate against you. God doesn't care about race you are. God doesn't care about your nationality or your gender or your age. Anybody who calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is saved. Will you do it tonight? Put your faith in the Son of God. His name is Jesus Christ. And I'm going to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. I want to glorify the name of Jesus. I want to bring you to Jesus Christ because you need Him. Bless you, sir. Bless you. You need Jesus Christ. I'm not the only one. We all need Jesus Christ. There's no exception. Did you know there's no other way to get to heaven except through Jesus? I want you to know I didn't come here tonight to tell you my opinion. My opinion doesn't matter. But let me tell you what Jesus Christ said himself. He said, He said in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. Jesus Christ said he's the way to heaven. He said he's the one and only way to get into heaven. Put your faith in Jesus Christ so you can go to heaven. In fact, Jesus Christ went on to say, he said, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Did you hear that? Jesus Christ said you can't get into heaven any other way. If you want to go to heaven, you need Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the Son of God. Believe the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is your Savior, and you have eternal life in heaven because of your faith in Jesus Christ. Every person here tonight needs Jesus Christ. The reason we need Jesus is because we're all sinners. That's right, not one of us has gone through our life without sin. The Bible says in, in Romans 3.23, all have sinned. That's you and me, both. 
And that's why we all need the Savior, because we're all sinners. The Bible says, because of our sin, we're going to all die. It says that in Romans 6, 23. The wages of sin is death. We've all sinned, and we're all going to die, and then we go to hell. But I came here tonight to tell you the good news. I've got good news for you tonight. The Bible says that God loved you so much that He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for you. It says, it says in Romans 5 8, God commendeth His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Think about that. God loved us so much that even though we're sinners, Christ died for us. Isn't that wonderful? Bless you. Some of you don't understand how much God loves you. Maybe you've heard some preacher tell you that God hates you because you're a sinner. But according to this verse, that's not true. It says, God commended His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Now that's good news. And I'm happy to be here tonight to tell you this good news. <clears throat> it's an awful lot of love if you're willing to die for them. Do you love anyone enough that you would die for them? Do you have a friend that loves you so much they die for you? That's the greatest love of all, being willing to die for someone. Well, that's how much Jesus Christ loves you, young man. Jesus Christ loves you so much he came to die for you. And I'm going to ask you, trust Jesus Christ as your Savior. Put your faith completely on the Son of God. <laughs>